Isabella. I am a licensed professional teacher and also a tourism practitioner. All right, and I would assume your advocacy has something to do with your profession? Yes, uh, since I am currently a teacher and practicing the teaching profession as of the moment, my advocacy is quality education for young children. All right, so let's, uh, uh, let's try Q&A. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's uh, natin yung the question that uh, you kay our very own Gloria Diaz. Okay. Oh, you cannot remember. That's okay. If a man from the moon landed on your hometown, uh, what would you do to entertain him? Well, we are very known for our food. Have you ever heard about Maria Claus? We have that. If you ever know what a can canan is, we have our version of it. We're in the, the sweet food, the sweet treat is inside. So when that man from the moon will arrive to my hometown, I'll give them just that because through eating that, I know that he will know how beautiful the province is because he started with the food. <laughs> Very well said. Thank you. All right, if you win Miss Universe Philippines 2023, you will represent the Philippines at Miss Universe 2023 in El Salvador, which will be the first edition of Miss Universe welcoming married married candidates okay, yes. and uh, trans women candidates as well. So not all beauty pageant uh, fans are happy mm. that uh, married candidates are welcome. So what is your message to them? Oh, I am very happy to be actually be with them. I think some candidates or some applicants are also married. I'm very happy with that since we are celebrating women. I'm very happy with that. I'm very excited to actually meet them. Yes, the best of luck for everyone. All right. And there are also beauty pageant fans who would prefer uh, Miss Universe Philippines to be exclusively for naturally born women and have trans women have their own uh, mm. beauty pageant. What is your comment? Well, as I said earlier, it is about celebrating us being a woman. And I don't think that the, you know, the other gender or LGBTQ community is not the on this side, like they're not women, they're also women. So I'm very open for them actually joining a Miss Universe Philippines since other countries also allowed the you know transgenders to join their pageants as well. And yes, we are celebrating womanhood, unity, and being with each other. So we have to embrace that. My next question is not related to that. <laughs> One of the recent problems of the Philippines is agriculture. Or food, mm. particularly prices of onions. Onions. <laughs> As a beauty queen, uh, what do you think? What can you suggest to our government to help solve this problem? Well, I came actually. I came in from family of farmers. Wow. My grandparents, my parents are all farmers, and I think that the government needs to focus on what the community really needs because actually us we're having a hard time dealing with life right now since uh, you know fertilizers and all agriculture products are actually on high prices so i think i'd like to talk to the government and tell them to please consider consider us farmers because it's really hard for us to cope up with those things with such things wow okay another one is one of the one of the well, how can i say never-ending problems of the Philippines or probably other countries as well is traffic no <laughs> so as a beauty queen yeah what can you suggest to our government well, when it comes I, to dealing with traffic well the government has done a lot of things for it but it is time I think uh, to talk to the people because you know traffic will not end if the people will not start disciplining themselves I think everything starts with a discipline and the government will not be having a hard time dealing with traffic if only the people are disciplined if only they know uh, proper traffic rules and they are they care for one another okay just two more questions I guess why Miss Universe Philippines and why now why now I'll start with that question well it's it has been a long time since actually Isabella has uh, joined uh, the national stage and it is about time for us to join again it's about time for us to join again and Miss Universe because I think that this is such a great platform for a teacher like me 
for a teacher who is really passionate about education, about learning. Because I know that when you join Miss Universe, you join a lot of things. Or you experience or you learn a lot of things. That is why I chose this platform. That is why I am here. Because I love learning and I know that Miss Universe will allow me to learn as well. Alright, last one. A message to your supporters and fans. Okay, well a lot of you actually, well no one knows I'm here. This is actually a secret, a secret application. Uh, so this is the only day. time, yes, this is the only time that I am, you know, introducing myself. So I'd like to thank everyone for actually pushing me forward or pushing me through, actually telling me to join. I am here now, so you can smile at your homes. Isabella is back in the Nashville stage. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. Thank you so luck. much.